Hello, welcome to our channel Agla Sim Schools. So in this video, we will be covering exercise 4.3 of chapter 4th of class 7th NCRT textbook. This chapter is basically about how to solve simple equation. So let's begin with exercise 4.3. So our first question is solve the following equations and the first part is 2y plus 5 by 2 is equals to 37 by 2. Now how to solve this? We have our given equation. So transposing 5 by 2 from LHS to RHS. Now the sign is changed from plus to minus. So 2y is equals to 37 by 2 minus 5 by 2. Now this is the LCM. So from this we have solved the value of our y that is equals to 16. 2y is equals to 16. So to get the value of y divide this 16 by 2 and from there we have the value of our y that is equals to 8. Hence the value of y is 8. So to check our answer we have to put the value of our y that is equals to 8 into the given equation which is equal to the RHS. So the LHS is equals to RHS. So the B part of the same question is 5t plus 28 is equals to 10. So how to solve it? We have the given equation. Now transposing 28 from LHS to RHS. Now the sign is changed from plus to minus. Now the t is equals to minus 18 by 5. So the value of t is minus 18 by 5. So to check our value, put the value of t into the given equation. So from there our LHS is equals to RHS. So the C part of the same question is a by 5 plus 3 is equals to 2. So our given equation is a by 5 plus 3 is equals to 2. So transposing 3 from LHS to RHS and the sign is changed from plus to minus. From there we have the value of our a that is minus 5. Hence the value of a is minus 5. So to check our answer put the value of a minus 5 into the given equation and that is equal to the value of our RHS. Hence proved. Now the d part of the same question is q by 4 plus 7 is equals to 5. The given equation is this. Now transposing 7 from LHS to RHS. Now from there we have the value of our q that is equals to minus 8. Therefore the value of q is minus 8. To check the value put the value of q into the given equation and that is equal to the value of RHS. Hence proved. So the e part of the same question is 5 by 2x is equals to minus 5. The given equation is that now here Divide both sides by 5 and multiply by 2 to retain the balance. Now x is equals to minus 5 by 5 into 2. From there we have the value of our x that is equals to minus 2. So to check put the value of x into the LHS of the equation and that is equal to the RHS. Hence proved. So the f part of the same question is 5 by 2x is equals to 25 by 4. So the given equation is that now multiply both sides by 2 and divide by 5 to retain the balance. Now x is equals to 25 by 4 into 2 by 5. From there we have the value of our x that is 5 by 2. So to check put the value of x into the LHS of the equation and that is equal to the RHS of our equation. Hence proved. So the g part of the same question is. 7m plus 19 by 2 is equal to 13. So our given equation is that now transpose 19 by 2 from LHS to RHS. It will become minus 19 by 2. Now 7m is equals to 13 minus 19 by 2. From there we have to calculate the value of our m that is equals to 1 by 2. Therefore the value of m is 1 by 2. To check the value, put the value of m into the LHS of the equation and that is equal to the RHS of our equation, hence proved. So the h part of the same question is 6z plus 10 is equal to minus 2. So the given equation is that now transposing 10 from LHS to RHS, it will become minus 10. 
Now from there we have the value of our z that is equals to minus 2. So to check our answer put the value of z into the LHS of the equation and that is equal to the RHS of our equation. Hence proved. So the i part of the same question is 3L by 2 is equal to 3 by 2. So this is our given equation. Now multiplying both side by 2 and dividing by 3 to retain the balance. So from there we have the value of our L that is equal to 4 by 9. So to check our answer put the value of L into the LHS of the equation and that is equal to the RHS of our equation. Hence proved. So the J part of the same question is 2B by 3 minus 5 is equal to 3. So the given equation is that now transpose 5 from LHS to RHS it will become 5. Now 2B by 3 is equal to 3 plus 5. From there we have the value of our B that is equals to 12. So therefore the value of B is 12. To check our value again put the value of B into the LHS side of our equation and that is equal to the RHS side of our equation hence proved. So our next question is solve the following equations. First part of it is 2 x plus 4 is equal to 12. So this is our given equation. Now dividing both the side by 2 from there we have x plus 4 is equal to 6. Now transpose 4 from LHS to RHS and it will become minus 4. So from there we have the value of our x that is 2. Therefore the value of x is 2. So the B part of the same question is 3 n minus 5 is equal to 21. So this is our given equation. Now dividing both the sides by 3. Now n minus 5 is equal to 7. Transposing 5 from LHS to RHS it will become 5. Now from there we have the value of our n that is equal to 12. So the C part of the same question is 3 n minus 5 is equal to minus 21. So this is our given equation and dividing both the sides by 3 we have x minus 5 is equal to minus 7. Now transposing minus 5 from LHS to RHS it will become 5. From there we have the value of our n that is equal to minus 2. Therefore the value of x is minus 2. So the d part of the same question is minus 4 2 plus x is equal to 8. Now dividing both the side by minus 4 we have equation that is 2 plus x is equal to minus 2. Transposing 2 from LHS to RHS it will become minus 2. So from there we have the value of our x that is equal to minus 4. Now the E part of the same question is 4 2 minus x is equal to 8. Now this is our given equation dividing both the sides by 4 we have the equation that is 2 minus x is equal to 2. Now transposing 2 from LHS to RHS it will become minus 2. From here we have the value of our x that is equal to 0. Therefore the value of x is 0. Moving to our next question solve the following equations. The first part is 4 is equal to 5 p minus 2. Now dividing both the sides by 5 so we have 4 by 5 is equals to p minus 2. Now transposing 2 from RHS to LHS it will become 2. 4 by 5 plus 2 is equals to p. Now from there we have the value of our p that is equals to 14 by 5. Now the b part of the same question is minus 4 is equals to 5 p minus 2. Dividing both the sides by 5 we have minus 4 by 5 is equals to p minus 2. Now transpose 2 from LHS to RHS it will become 2. From there we have an equation that is 4 by 5 plus 2 is equals to p. So from there we have the value of our p that is equals to 6 by 5. Therefore the value of p is 6 by 5. So the c part of the same question is 16 is equals to 4 plus 3 t plus 2. Now transpose 4 from L RHS to LHS it will become minus 4. 
So from there we have an equation that is 16 minus 4 is equals to 3 t plus 2. Now divide both the sides by 3. From there we have 4 is equals to t plus 2. Now transpose 2 from RHS to LHS. Now it will become minus 2. So from there we have the value of our t that is 2. Now the d part of the same question is 4 plus 5 p minus 1 is equals to 34. Now transpose 4 from LHS to RHS. It will become minus 4. So we have the equation that is 5 p minus 1 is equals to 34 minus 4. So from there divide both the sides by 5 and we have p minus 1 is equals to 6. Now transpose 1 from LHS to RHS and we have the value of our p that is equals to 7. Therefore, the value of P is 7. So, the E part of the same question is 0 is equals to 16 plus 4 M minus 6. Now, transpose 16 from RHS to LHS. It will become minus 16. Now, we have an equation that is minus 16 is equals to 4 M minus 6. Divide both the sides by 4, we have minus 4 is equals to m minus 6. Now transpose minus 6 from RHS to LHS. It will become 6. Now 6 minus 4 is equals to m and from there we have the value of our m that is 2. So moving to our next question, the first part of fourth question is construct three equations starting with x is equals to 2. Now first x is equals to 2. Multiply both the sides by 5. We have 5x is equals to 10. Now subtract 3 from both the sides. So we have 5x minus 3 is equals to 10 minus 3. From there we have equation that is 5x minus 3 is equals to 7. That equation is formed. Now second part. Multiply both the sides by 3. From there, we have 3x is equals to 6. Now, subtract 2 from both the sides. We have 3x minus 2 is equals to 6 minus 2. So, therefore, we have an equation that is 3x minus 2 is equals to 4. So, the third part is multiply both the sides by 7. So, we have 7x is equals to 14. Now, subtract 4 from both the sides. So, we have 7x minus 4 is equals to 14 minus 4. So, from there we have an equation that is 7x minus 4 is equals to 10 that is formed. So, in the B part construct three equations starting with x is equals to minus 2. So, x is equals to minus 2. Now, multiply both the sides by 5. So, we have 5x is equals to minus 10. Now, Subtract 2 from both the sides. So we have 5x minus 2 is equals to minus 10 minus 2. Therefore, we have an equation that is 5x minus 2 is equals to minus 12. Second, multiply both the sides by 2. So we have 2x is equals to minus 4. Now subtract 1 from both the sides. So we have 2x minus 1 is equals to minus 4 minus 1. So we have an equation that is 2x minus 1 is equals to minus 5. Third, multiply both the sides by 3. So we have an equation that is 3x is equals to minus 6. Now subtract 5 from both the sides. So we have 3x minus 5 is equals to minus 6 minus 5. Now we have an equation that is 3x minus 5 which is equals to minus 11. So this is all from this exercise. For more such informative videos, keep browsing Aglasem schools. Thank you.